Hi ladies and gents, Lord of Pontel here with another video for Rise of Empires, Ice and Fire. We're on to part 8 of Road to C25. It is day 5 of the account and um, I have now done all the prerequisites to um, get the account ready for C9. So we've uh, upgraded... Uh, what do we have to upgrade this time? Uh, we had to upgrade an encampment to level 8 plus a house plus... Um, then of course the tavern so those are all done and um, I've got a nice amount of resources obviously I'm in a big established alliance already so that's going to help me as well with picking up like um, alliance cop chests every day um, it's Monday so it's a gathering day so I've got my troops out gathering hopefully that'll get me a few more rewards that way as well uh, I've got over a million marble and nearly a million iron as well so that's quite nice i'm going to have to upgrade my storages for sure with those with those ones um i would say that it's always important to be upgrading one storage building at a time always um that's going to help your progression because storage will be a key limiting factor for you as you're looking to upgrade key buildings like the stables for instance that are going to require a lot of lumber uh, so I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye on upgrading my lumber storage and the iron storage as well. Uh, so let's get our castle going. So we need 100,000 coin. So I've got 650,000 gold at the moment. So that's all right. Oh, we'll use the 75,000. Uh, need 18,000 charcoal. Oof, okay. So I was actually, I did, I've been at work all day and I didn't go on this account this morning. I was actually out of charcoal when I came back uh, this evening, which wasn't good. I had, um, that would have meant that like my, um, my efficiency uh, on all of my resource buildings would have been way down. Luckily now there's a supply in uh, and I'm gaining a tiny bit every hour, but it just takes so much lumber. That is the other downside. So I've got about one and a half million lumber i will probably try and invest a bit of lumber maybe fifty thousand lumber every day into my charcoal factories to try and keep my charcoal level going but i'll have to wait and see how that goes uh we also need a hundred thousand marble here so again easily got that covered and we're ready to go so three hours 56 minutes That will come down a little bit with some help requests, hopefully. Uh, I do have 71 five-minute building speed up, so we can actually get this done again without needing gems. Uh, I'm already up to 1,681 gems as well. So even if I get, say if I get this account to C14, C15 by the weekend, and it might look like an attractive prospect for someone wanting to hit it, then I can already in my first week, um, I'll be able to shield it. So that's why I've been saying again, this whole premise about it's it's really key to get your two and a half thousand gems. Uh, so there we go, castle level nine. So once you finish the story, it's kind of uh, disappointing that you don't get the nice upgrade banners uh, that we did um, at the previous levels one to seven. Uh, but I've upgraded to castle level nine. So I have got one of the main task rewards. Uh, let's claim that. Tiny amounts again, 62 and a half. I mean, it's rubbish. Uh, got another daily reward at least. I'm up to 120 points on that. And in the benefit center, uh, we've used 500 speed ups. So that's good. Claim that. Tiny amount of speed ups again. On day five, so we're on, this is the feast celebration, remember. Um, so you've got to kind of complete as much of this as you can in the, in the first week of having the account. Um, day five unlocks another three sections. So alliance donation, uh, you have to donate. If you can donate a hundred times, then you'll get some re. Really, you'll get some nice common purple medals that will. You can swap those for fifty um, wisdom medals to develop the skills of your heroes, or you can um, use these towards upgrading a, a hero skill. Hero skill, uh, the fourth skill, always requires ten purple medals which it can be difficult so those might be worth hanging on to and you'll get some training speed ups as well which is good because you're desperately trying to build up your troops at these low levels arms upgrade perform rally attacks on marauders uh three five ten times claim ten personal arms rewards 
Uh, so I've already claimed five. So that's I'm up to about I'm up to seven I've done so far. So hopefully I can claim that's on the hourly challenge. Hopefully I can uh, claim some more in the next 48 hours and get 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 more rewards here. You're going to get some stationing plans to use to upgrade your town hall, so you can then um, your town hall can actually hold more develop heroes there, so they can benefit your account. And then we've got skill mastery, unlock five skills, 20 skills, 40 skills, uh, and unlock five level two skills for any hero, four level four, three level six, one level eight. So that is, um, and then you do get wisdom medals as rewards along with some gold, but that's that's a lot of skills. You're not gonna generate enough wisdom medals uh, in your first week to get many of those. So, so far I've opened 20, I've managed to obtain 26 of the 100 total uh, tasks that are in the feast event. So we're going to be hopefully getting some of these rewards, uh, advanced and super recruitment tickets, blue and purple medals, wisdom medals, gold, and some hero XP. We'll have to wait and see in a couple of days' time once that's finished. And then, interestingly, at level 9, not a single new building at the moment. Uh, now, I don't know if that's because, again, my tavern is empty. So I don't have my, whoa, I'm not going to put that much in. Uh, the tavern is empty, so I'm not going to. Have my population maxed at the moment. So I'm only at 6,200, but I can have 8,900 max if my tavern is, is stocked. But I would always suggest you don't really want to be um, stocking a tavern because you're having to use food and um, and ale and you can exchange ale in here at the trading house to get other vital resources so uh, such as gold I managed to get uh, 75,000 gold for 75,000 ale and I got 24,000 iron for 45,000 ale which you know iron and gold really really key resources so that's why I traded up quite a lot of my ale uh, to get those um let's have a look at what the re um requirements are for level 10 then so upgrading the castle we're going to need to do the houses as you will every level up to level nine a medical tent up to level nine and then the tavern up to level nine of course uh so like every level it's always you've got to upgrade the house and then you've got to upgrade the tavern because you can't upgrade the tavern if you don't have the house Medical tent level nine, I've already got a medical tent at level eight, so um, I need to do one upgrade for that so I can get that done today. Um, 180,000 gold, 69,000 food, 68,586 lumber. The reason that is slightly lower is because in our alliance, uh, someone has activated one of the alliance cards in National Quest. Um, where it's a reduction in the in the lumber cost in building, so that's why that's slightly lower. Um, Twenty eight thousand charcoal. Yeah, I don't have that at the moment. I'm definitely going to have to get some charcoal uh, going. I'll have to spend some lumber on that for sure. Um, One hundred fifty thousand marble, one hundred thousand iron. Well, I've got all of those, so I can definitely upgrade to level ten. Um, it's saying it's going to take me five hours to do that upgrade. So I could do start that upgrade tonight and then um, it could finish overnight and it would happen at the start of building day. So that would get me some Clash of Province points. Um, I might try and do that if I can because ideally then I could potentially do another up. I could start another upgrade in the morning before I go to work because I'm trying to fit this, uh, fit this recording and this series in around my working hours, which is a bit tough. Um, but there you go. Um, so that's that's everything for upgrading to C9. No additional buildings at the moment to talk about, but if some do get unlocked in the coming hours, I will mention them in the next video um, as we upgrade to level 10. So what I'm going to do now is uh, we need to upgrade the medical tent and the house first. Uh, so let's find my house that is already at level 8. There we go. So upgrade the house. We need 5,700 gold, 20,000 food, 6,800 marble. So we've got that. That's going to take 29 minutes. So that's going. And then it was the medical tent, wasn't it? So uh, medical tent, that's going to take 10,000 gold, 8,000. So it should be 8,500 lumber for those of you that don't have this alliance re uh, cost reduction 
uh, in activated. Uh, and then 21,000 iron, which I've got as well. And this is an hour and 17 minutes upgrade, which is fine because I'm going out in a minute. And just so we know, for the tavern, once, so there you go, you need the prerequisite of the house completed. Uh, once the house is upgraded, we're going to need a 55,000 gold, which we've got. 19,000 food, 31,000 marble. I've got plenty of marble in my stock, 1.2 million. Uh, so that is all good. So that's basically um, level 9, guys. Nice, quick, easy video and update on my road to C25 castle. Um, on day 5 of the Guildmaster event, we picked up 500 uh, gems, which was really good. And the feast on the login event, for day 5 logging in, we got... Uh, two super recruitment tickets and advanced teleport, so we can move right by my castles now. Uh, a 24 hour might bonus for uh, buffing your attack. And you get 150 fragments for Jungle Knight, a purple combat hero, uh, which then gives you that that is all you need to obtain him. Um, unfortunately, I already had I already have Jungle Knight, so that's a duplicate for him. Um, but still, if you don't have him, then that's a nice addition. You get a, you get another purple hero if you've got already got a different purple hero. So there we go. So guys, that is everything uh, for level nine on Road to C25. I hope you're enjoying the series. If you are, please do click on that like below, and uh, I'd be interested to hear your comments on how you feel my account is developing, and uh, if you would do anything different, or you have done anything different when developing your accounts. Um, Obviously, I'm, pretty, I'm in a lucky position that I'm able to pop my brand new account into uh, an established alliance, which has um, already got its technology and I can move it right next to my farms and stuff. So I do appreciate that I'm kind of cheating here a little bit in how I'm going to be developing it. But also, you got I've got to factor in that I'm doing this around the other 11 accounts that I manage, plus the channel, plus I work full time, etc, etc. So um, it is kind of a big extra on top of everything else that I'm doing as well. Uh, so it won't. I'm not giving it absolute 100% priority every day compared to maybe someone who just has one account, just developing their one account. Uh, so there we go, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, if you are, please do, of course, click on that subscribe and ring the bell so you get notifications whenever I drop videos on the channel. And if you could share my YouTube channel in your Alliance chat, Province chat, and through Line, WhatsApp, Viber, Discord, whatever you use to communicate with uh, everyone in, that you play the game with, that'd be Absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon.